So as you remember, each year we decorate a different vehicle. You may have done a red truck, a car, but this year you're doing a snow plow. So we're going to start with just a little line at the bottom of our paper. And this will just be a snow covered road. So you might want to find a uh, inch and a half circle or you can just draw two tires to start on this road. And I'm using Sharpie, but I would highly recommend using a pencil in case you have to correct anything. And they're just about so far apart. Like so. So we're gonna start drawing our truck and I want to start with the wheel so I'm going to make a circle in the circle and then we're going to make a circle in that circle and you can fill that one in then you're going to make little nuts for the tire. They hold on the tire like so. Now we're going to start on the frame of our dump truck. We want to make a line around that comes starts in the center and goes all the way around. Starts in the center, goes all the way around. And then we're gonna connect those two lines right there in the middle. And then we want to make a bit of a rectangle off of the front here. So I'm gonna go out, up, and back over. And I'm gonna do the same at the back. I'm gonna go out, up, and back over. And I wanna make one more line across the middle here. So it's like a foot plate. Now we're going to make our back of our truck. So about right here where those two lines met, I'm gonna take a line straight up about there. I'm going to come over and then I'm going to make a little 45 degree angle down. Next I'm going to take this all the way out till I get to where it's about even with the back of my truck. connect those two down. You can draw a little bumper on the back here if you want. Next I want to draw kind of an exhaust for the truck. So I'm just making a long rectangle there. And then I want to draw kind of this L shape. And I'm going to make a line out here that doesn't go quite as far out, like so. I'm going to angle that, connect them. Now, starting a little bit, not this far out, but a little bit below. I'm gonna come out and swing down. And we're gonna make the front of our hood and we're gonna come out and swing down for the front of our truck. 
and you can make another little window here if you want. I'll draw a little door handle. Then we just want to make a little line that goes all the way down, like so. You can make another line right where that window is. Just bring that down so it'll look like the door. Again, we can do a little bumper. And then last thing we need to do is put the snow plow on. So you're going to make start up here and just sweep down, make a wide open C. And you can give it two notches on the end. And follow that again for your snow plow. Now you can decorate this however you want. Maybe I have some lights off of my truck. Again, draw it big because you want to be able to paint this. If it's too small, you won't be able to paint. Um, you can add maybe a Rudolph's nose if you want and some antlers. See, it is a Rudolph snow truck. could add anything you want. If you want to add a sign, you can add a sign. You could add a wreath. You could add whatever you want. Maybe there's a snowman here. <laughs> anything you want is fine. It's your picture. Um, you're going to use your china marker to, after you draw your truck, if you just have pencil, you want to use a china marker and go over all your lines. You could fill in your tires with that china marker so they're black. And then you're going to watercolor this in. For the background, you can add different things if you want. Maybe you have some ski hills. mountains, whatever you want. Maybe you have a sign, a part of a sign. North Pole. Anything you want to do. And just have fun. Again, think about where your truck is going, who is it going to see, why is it being decorated and that will help you come up with a fun story to tell. This is what illustration is all about.